It's everyone starting to filter into position here as we get ready to kick off our season here in the IRL F1 PS4 League here at Circuit Paul Ricard. The Castellet in France. It's going to be KJ Elting on pole position with Harry Just Access, Foxy Red, Lockshotter, Gamer Andre, Hercules, Scott and Burmeister in the top ten as they look to the lights. Get ready for the five. We've got lights on. Long pause, lights off and away we go. It's a good start there from KJ who's got a uh, good run. He sweeps across in front of Harry and Jastasas who's jumped up into second position. Jastasas is going to have the inside line and jumps up past Harry in two second position. Good start there from CRG Gamer who's already up into fifth place behind Rymac and Samuel battling out over 14th from position. We've got a yellow flag already. Yeah, it's Warislander. He's lost it at turn two and got big damage. He must have collided with somebody. Unfortunately, that is a disaster for him. He's going to have to pit on the, the Ferrari driver not having the best start to the race. And uh, yeah, you can see CRG Gamer here closing in on Foxy Red already. So CRG Gamer after that slower start, as we're just going to quickly tune in to Just Ace out of the front, who's starting to close in on Eltink. So he got down to uh, 0 0.6 or 0 0.6 of a second, and the uh, the Haas driver, as we've got a yellow flag in sector two, as that uh, looks as though we've got a car on the, uh, the inside of the chicane at the, uh, the chicane at the Mistral Strait. But uh, here you go, here's Just Ace out. Does he sweep to the inside? Very brave move here between the Haas and the AlphaTauri. Is KJ going to give him room? He does. Brilliant move there from him, but will the uh, AlphaTauri come to sweep back at him? No. Not quite able to get the traction out of the corner, so, but brilliant move there from the Lithuanian driver up into the lead of this one. Harry just following the pair, hoping for some drama to unfold, but uh, what a move there from the uh, from the Haas. At the moment, if Foxy Red can stay within that second of Harry, he'll have a good chance of trying to defend from Gamer, but Gamer has a better run on him here, and Gamer is getting a bit close but unfortunately for game, this might start to be, become a bit frustrating for him because that DRS defence from Foxy is just allowing him to keep his position and Gamer can't get anything done. But Gamer not only has to keep an eye on the front, but he's also got to keep an eye on the back because there's a very fast Ferrari coming up behind him now on a half a second. As there we go, Gamer sends one down the inside. Nice move on Foxy and unfortunately Foxy had real no chance with that and Gamer eventually does get that fourth place and now his next aim is his last season's title rival Harry. Him and Logshot are at each other once again. Interestingly I wanted to point out that all the front runners have gone onto the hard tyre except Scott Bugner. Scott Bugner has gone onto the medium tyre so you'd imagine he should be able to get past that uh, Alpha Tori with ease on the medium tyre compared to the hard tyre. Logshot does not have the RS here so Scott has a great opportunity to get past him. He's really mean, he's really mean. Alpha Tori has no chance here. Scott should just cruise past the Alpha Tori and he does. He gets the move done and he needs to really now make these medium tyres work to his advantage and get away from Longshot and try chase after the likes of Arbiz yeah, who's just, just keeping an eye on Scott once again. He's now right on the gearbox of Arbiz, the Red Bull driver. Scott's really in quite quickly now and Arbiz, you'd imagine, won't really have much to say. He's been on those tyres the longest out of anybody really except Jacob on nine laps on those hard tyres. I remember he put in an earliest. Oh! I thought Scott was just going to tag the back of that Red Bull there, but surely down the inside this is an easy move for Scott. He forces the Red Bull slightly wide and a nice easy move there for Scott. So next up for Scott on those medium tyres is his teammate Harry in 11th, 2.8 seconds up the road. As Hercules is trying to make that move now up into 11th position around the outside of the uh, around the outside of the Red Bull, and uh, unfortunately, if Arbiz is still with us, uh, nothing he could really do about that. There, Burmeister is now trying to close in. Uh, we can see Nathan and Rymax still battling a hoof of position there in third and fourth. Yeah, Arbiz was struggling with connection connection issues, so a couple of uh, teething problems for a couple of these drivers in these early races of this season as the two Red Bulls go side by side Burmeister forces his way through and so does Andre up into uh, 14th position there so uh, unfortunately Arbiz uh, if he has managed to get back into the car he's being swallowed by several other cars on circuit right now just ASAS he's losing time to KJ now and KJ's starting to stretch his legs J Jacob's out there on 12 lap old hard tyres and just ASAS just isn't able to get past Jacob but on this uh, next straight now surely he will be able to uh, get past the Renault driver quite easily as there he goes it opens the DRS surely it's going to be close this 
And yeah, just about gets the move done with with Gamer having to slam the brakes on there because he didn't want to run into the back of the round driver. But Gamer needs to get a hurry on as well because Harry is also clawing him in now. But Gamer does get the move done on Jacob. Jacob just keeping an eye on the battle for sixth place. MNT Hercules, 4.2 seconds behind Scott Bugner, has got Foxy Red in the Alpha Male for company. And MNT Hercules will not have the RS. So Foxy Red does have a great opportunity as Arby's gets the fastest lap with a medium tie there is can Foxy Red send one down the inside it's going to be a late move if this he does he leaves it he thinks better off it Hercules seemingly not enjoying this phase of the race at the moment Foxy Red putting all kinds of pressure on the Ferrari driver can he get something done here this would be very brave if he could Hercules would be making that Ferrari as wide as possible can he send one up the inside Foxy no, Hercules defends nicely here, but Foxy, you'd imagine within the next lap or so, the way Hercules is racing at the moment, Foxy sh should be able to get this move done without uh, the aid of defensive aid of the RS for Hercules. What a brilliant fight we've got here between Burmeister Cliffy and Andre fighting it out over eighth position. Cliffy tried to make two positions in two corners, but uh, Burmeister wasn't having any of it. And into the pit lane comes Burmeister for his second stop. Uh, here comes Gamer, he's got a good run here on Just Ace, that's in the house, he pulls the outside at scene corner, he's going to go to the outside, this is going to be an absolutely incredible move if he gets this one done, he's going to get shown the door by the house, we'll see, can he stick with it, he's going to get the outside line, which is to get him the inside for the next corner, what a move wow. there from the Mercedes driver, that's why he was last season's IRL F1 champion, stuck it around the outside, of course these tyres are all the exact same tyre life, so uh, yeah, brilliant, brilliant commitment there from the Mercedes. And it's always good to hear from you guys in the comments. So let us know who you're watching and equally who you're supporting. And down the inside comes Just Ace Ass into the chicane. And the Mistral straight up into second position. He's finally got past Gamer there. We've got rain coming down the Mistral straight now. So the rain has come on the last lap. Gamer goes defensive to the inside line. Can Harry sweep around the outside? It's going to be really, really close. Gamer holds on to the inside line, hugs that tight apex. And Harry's going to have to push hard down the, ex the exit of the uh, Mistral straight towards scene corner. He's once again tucking into the rear slipstream of the Mercedes. He's going to try and take the inside line. This is going to be close between the two. He takes the inside line. Harry up into the position of third place, but has to hold on to it. You know the game is strong around that outside line. Tries to do the same that he did in early, but once again, uh, Harry closing the door. Gamer desperately trying to come back, but uh, it's going to be KJ Elting that's looking as though he's going to be your winner to open up the season. I will desperately try and fight and, uh, and get back as soon as we can but it's going to be KJ Eltink across the line to take his first win here at Invictus what a race there for the Dutchman he comes across the line in first just Asas in second but he's going to drop down behind Harry and behind Gamer uh, as they lock out the uh, two positions of the rest of the podium behind let's go